Hello, everyone, and uh, thank you to MRI Online uh, for the invitation to speak to you about one of my favorite topics, which is CT colonography. And the title of this talk is uh, Screening CT Colonography, a Safe, Effective Test. And uh, during this uh, talk, what I'd like to do is uh, start off by briefly reviewing with you the epidemiology of colorectal cancer and why it's so important uh, to screen for this mostly preventable malignancy. Then we'll uh, review some of the current guidelines for colorectal cancer screening. Um, I'll review with you state-of-the-art practice of CTC, including uh, some of the validation studies, and then we'll talk about current patient preparation techniques uh, and uh, methods for interpretation. And I'll end off with uh, discussing briefly the current status of reimbursement in the United States. Um, and let's get started. With um, the global uh, colorectal cancer rates, and it's important to note that this is a common malignancy. It's the third most common in men and the second most common in women globally. So this accounts for 1.8 million new colorectal cancer cases each year and about 880,000 deaths. Look at where the highest rates of colorectal cancer occur. Well, in North America, that includes both Canada and the United States. Australia is a particular hot spot for colorectal cancer. Uh, various sites in Europe, uh, South Korea, and then Japan. So here's a heat map of uh, the uh, incidence rates for colorectal cancer. And you can see that Australia has a very high incidence rate um, and is in red. Everything else it's in orange, it's also fairly high. So you can have North America, here's the United States, but also various uh, large portions of uh, Europe as well. In the United States, uh, the statistics really parallel globally. So it's the third most common malignancy and the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Um, annually, we have about 150,000 new cases and about 50,000 deaths. Um, and it represents about 10% of all the cancer cases. And this uh, graphic just again shows you that uh, in the states represents uh, the third most uh, common malignancy uh, in men uh, and in women. So in men it's behind prostate and lung and in women it's behind prostate, I mean, I'm sorry, breast and lung. In terms of estimated deaths, you can see that uh, for men it's third uh, behind lung and prostate and in women, it's behind lung and breast. However, when you consider uh, men and women together, colorectal cancer actually uh, accounts for them for and this represents the second most common cause of malignant deaths. Again, the lifetime risk for developing colorectal cancer is about 5%, uh, which represents one in 20 individuals. The lifetime risk for dying from colorectal cancer is about 2.5%. There is a slightly higher predominance in men. I think this last line is particularly important, which is that the majority, 75%, occur in the average risk patients who have no known risk factors. 